Hi guys, it's Peter, welcome to my channel. Looks like season is, get, is getting to the end. But, I mean for uh, mostly people. For me, I'm riding my one wheel during the winter time as well. But it's kind of getting cold. Right now it's probably low 30s. But feels like, I mean, especially if you're pushing like a little over 20 or so, it feels really cold. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> but it's, right now it's actually it's a lot of fun to ride it over here. No one here, plus the, the path is uh, clean from uh, leaves. I'm not really sure what they did. I mean, they, are they blow it? Or, I mean, blow it all those leaves, or, or it's kind of by, uh, happened by wind. Anyway, I'm riding my custom built VSK XR, 20s, uh, three piece uh, with super flux, unbelievable. The board is awesome, I really love it. Yeah. And it's actually it's a lot of fun to, uh, to ride this beast. Uh, not too long, past the 2000 mile on a controller, not on a board itself, because if you saw my previous video, this board I built like a few months ago, so pretty much the board has probably around 500 miles. The motor, Superflux, has already uh, close to 1500 miles. Controller has a uh, 2,000, well, little over 2,000 mile. Yeah, so far I love it, and uh, I've been asked already multiple times uh, which board is more safer, which board is much be um, better one. To be honest, in my opinion, it's probably a matter of preference. If you have a future motion board and you're happy, it feels like it uh, fills your needs. I mean, why not? But if you are a big heavy guy like me, or you're tired in dealing with future motion bullshit, then VESC probably is the best way to go. In my opinion, if you ask me which board is safer, of course, it's gonna be, in my opinion, of course, it's gonna be a VESC. Uh, first of all, VESC is more powerful, less nose deep in, uh, and the less chance you just gonna overpower it. That's why I'm saying VESC is it's better. But if it build it, if if it was been built properly, no monkey shit, no loose connection, uh, like on a future motion boards, then yes, the VESC is much better board. And uh, plus, in a money wise, if you build it, if you do all, all labor and assembly. Uh, VESC is in some, some cases it's cheaper, like my beast, the one I'm riding right now, it only cost me, actually it cost me less than two grand. Uh, because I bought parts in the right time, I believe I got them, mostly parts I got on uh, Labor Day and uh, Flow Life, then Crafting Ride, they have a sale at that day, and pretty much I snap at all parts what uh, I still, uh, I was still needed back then for this project at that uh, big discount <laughs> and that's how board cost me less than two grand but now without any discount i believe the parts itself is gonna run you like uh, 22 2300 bucks but for that money what you gaining i mean 20 s3 piece uh, samsung 50 s cells uh, then uh, Oh, moose. We got moose here, it's okay. And then, uh, uh, super flux motor, uh, high torque, like I got, or high speed. It depends on your weight, and it depends on your needs, what required. Uh, WTF rails. Pretty much this build, what you see, I, I want to mention it, it's built from scratch. There is only two pieces, two parts, from future motion, it's a foot pad, front and back actually, they both, uh, it's a back, uh, the rear foot pad, I modified to make it front, uh, I got dirt cheap on the eBay, They're like, uh, uh, well, one I got on eBay, another one I got locally, a uh, nice gentleman, he donated uh, to my channel, uh, that, uh, that, that used foot pad, I really appreciate that, and pretty much, yeah, the beast, to, the, the board turns really good, and I'm happy more than ever. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, guys, pretty much that's all I got for this video. I hope it was interesting, enjoyable. If you guys did enjoy it, thumbs up. If you don't want to miss any future videos, subscribe. We'll really appreciate it. Thank you.